Hello everyone, welcome to this channel and in today's video, I'm going to show you on how to summarize the data from this into this. And by the way, if you are new to this channel and wants to learn more about Microsoft Access, then please consider subscribing this channel for more informative videos. This video was requested by Miss Mary Cruz from Philippines. So now let's start. So first thing to do guys is to create a query design. Okay, this one. Let's click that one. The membership fee, the hospitalization, as well as the total. We need this um, columns. So, the result is the same with the tables. So, now, we're gonna drop another dates. And then, we're gonna name this as starting date. And then this one, ending date. And also this one, contribution year. Okay, let us check. So starting date, ending date, and contribution year, they are the same. So next, this time, we're gonna use this function the totals oh, when we click that one this is the result so for the starting date this total group by we will change this to first so the first date of the year of the month so will be uh, reflected in this field and the next ending date so we will use the last and then for the contribution year, so that's okay. And then mutual aid, so since that's an amount, we have to use the sum. And also this one sum. Sum, and then for the total, of course, sum also. And then now let us try to check. There's nothing happen. Okay, so... Last, for the contribution year, we have to configure this one. We have to put right in close parenthesis, comma, and then for in close parenthesis. So, meaning to say, we have to cut the last four digits of the value. So, the last four digit would be the year, so we have to cut it. So now, let's check. And here we go. This is the result. So starting date is February 2014, and the ending date is November 2014. Let us check. So it starts with the February 2014, and then the last month is November 2014. So this is correct, guys. And then, if you have a problem with this, sum of mutual aid, sum of membership P, so we're gonna fix that. All you have to do is to copy paste, paste, and okay, put a column. This one also, membership P, and then column as well as the hospitalization pay and the total also let us check okay so this is the result mutual aid membership pay hospitalization pay so now, you request mom Mary Cruz if you want to uh, format it by word. So October, that's the word, and then followed by the year. 
So, this one, we have to format this. Okay. Click that. And then, property sheet. And then, go to format. So, now, let us type the four M's. And then, space, Y, 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 Y. So, M stands for the month. And then, the Y, Y, Y stands for the four character of the year. Copy. And then, we have to paste in this ending date. Let us check. Okay. So, February 2014 to November 2014. So, it's working, guys. And then, how about this one? Mutual aid. So, we got to change the format also. We have to change the format to um, standard. Hospitalization P, also standard. And then the total is also standard. Okay. And then, for the contribution year, we don't need that one. So, we can uncheck this to hide it. And let us check. Okay. So, the contribution year is being hide. And this is the result. So, how to apply this in the report? So, let us close this. This name is summary. Ah, that's summary. To make a report, just click this summary. Highlight that one. And then, click create in the menu. And then, we'll go to the report. Let's uncheck. Okay. Design view. And then, this one. Ah, let us remove the layout you have to make the border style transparent and then okay let's make it 9 and then we're gonna delete that We'll put inclusive dates. Let us check. Okay. And then we will gonna put a high pin. This one. Let's put something like that. Let's try. Okay. So, next is, we have to put a line. And next is, we have to put a total. Okay. Let's type run total. And then, the source would be the total. And then, we'll put sum. Okay. The format also would be standard. Okay. 
border style transparent and then we can put a this one sorry it's not straight let's try okay 5100 so i think this is enough and i hope this video helps you a lot and if you are new to this channel once again please consider subscribing this channel for more informative videos that's all thank you and see you to my next video